All right, everybody, welcome back to episode three of the Discord JS series. In this video, again, extremely short, which is hopefully what you guys are loving. Uh, again, YouTube, not so much loving it. They recommend that we do 10 minutes in 30 second videos. We're gonna be going ahead and getting started with some really, really basic commands. And by really basic command, I mean quite literally a really, really basic set of commands. <laughs> Also, if you guys are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you guys can stay updated on all of our Discord JS videos, along with any other videos on our channel that you may find interesting. All right, so inside of our client.on message, we are just gonna go ahead and delete that console log. We don't need it, but what we are gonna say is we're just gonna do a quick check. And we're gonna say if message.content is equal to, and we'll say exclamation point, Ping. And now you can set your prefix to whatever you like, like quite literally to whatever you like. Just keep in mind that that's what people are going to have to type in every single time they want to run one of your commands. Com Some of the most common is the exclamation point, the question mark, the asterisk, the ampersand, um, at least from what I've seen. But we're going to go ahead and say if message content is equal to exclamation point ping, we are just going to go ahead and say message.channel.send and we are just going to have the bot reply back, single quotes, bong. And then we'll close that up. And what is our error here that we're getting? Add a space before the brackets. There we go. I also have Beautify installed, one of the, an extension that you guys can get right here, Beautify. And then by default, it doesn't set up a key bind, which kind of throws a lot of people off. So if you just go to your keyboard shortcuts here, type in Beautify. And I have mine as control all L, which is just the same uh, code cleanup as in IntelliJ. Just as it's really easy to type and I like it. And let's go ahead and say node.index.js. If we go to our Discord and we say exclamation point ping, our bot says pong. And so now you guys are probably wondering, well, what if I want to add multiple commands? Well, the simplest way to add multiple commands is to just add an else if. But now keep in mind, Else if works if we're just doing what we're doing right now, which is just like really simple, really easy commands. But as things get more intense, you're gonna to wanna to create a command handler, which we will also do in a later video. But for now, we'll just do go ahead and do an else if. So we'll say else if message.content equals, uh, we'll just go ahead and say if it equals high. And if it does, it doesn't even have to be a command, even though this would make sense to to be a command and these got to be single quotes um you can this is kind of the basics of how a command works is it's quite literally just listening for this particular prefix so if the message contains that and that prefix or and then that argument the command itself exists it's going to do whatever you tell it to but in this instance we're just going to go ahead and say is else if message.content equals high we'll just go ahead and say message.channel not content channel dot send and we'll say hello let's just clean up our code here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of brace style you guys can keep it if you want but I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it because you know their their lint linter is not necessarily gonna work for everybody and for me I just it I don't mind my else if or yeah, my, I don't mind my else if statements looking like this. All right, so let's save our index.js file. Let's go ahead and say node, .in, node index.js, and let's just say hi. Oh, didn't work because we didn't have a capital H. Hi, there we go. It is case sensitive, at least right now. Later on, we will go ahead and fix that. But now we can see here that if we say hi in capital H, it works. And now we can just go ahead and add another else if here. And we can say if this equals, we'll say um, sad, we can have the bot send a message saying, I, I am sad. And we'll just make this a lowercase s. And for, for the drama, we'll add an ellipses. Go ahead and restart our bot. Open up Discord.js and we'll say exclamation point sad, I am sad. 
All right, guys, so that'll do it for this video. Once again, a very short video. This will probably be under five minutes by the time I cut out some of the junk. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the next video, we will be getting started on how to use some really basic configuration files. Again, that will be another extremely short video, but I just wanted to make the video so that way it's just really easy, easy, easily accessible, and it's really simple and straight to the point. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick around on the channel. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys in the next one.